Hello everyone, this is Mike from Virtual PM. Just wanted to give you guys another helpful Azure DevOps query that you guys can use on your projects. A good matrix to have for your project is all the current bugs and their states, and also to be able to show um, what your current trend or trend has been over time for your project. So let's go ahead and begin. First, we're gonna go ahead and start with the query screen. This is gonna be a very simple query. Uh, first, you're going to want to look at the work item type of bugs. Go ahead and run your query. This will show you all the bugs that you currently have in your system. And doesn't matter what the status is, you're pulling back everything because state equaling any brings all the bugs back, uh, no matter what their state. Once you have this, go ahead and save it. Uh, you're going to want to name it something that makes sense to you and your team. Let's go ahead and say all project bugs. Right. Since you're going to be creating a chart with this, uh, you should get into a habit of making them as a shared query. That way you can actually put them on the dashboard. Go ahead and click OK. Now that it's saved, um, it'll allow you to go ahead and use the charts tab to kind of create your charts. So let's go ahead and select new chart. Uh, for the first one, let's go ahead and choose a pie chart and let's go ahead and group them by state. So now, as you can see, it'll give you a preview of what your chart's gonna look like. Uh, right now we have seven bugs total in our project. Um, and of course it gives you the total number of each bugs um, and what their states are. Um, I do suggest um, you can go ahead and change the colors uh, fitting what kind of chart you're gonna be creating. Obviously new bugs, they may be bad. So we're gonna wanna go ahead and make that part red. Uh, resolved may be in the process of kind of being worked on and closed is good. So let's go ahead and make that green. Um, before you close the chart, you always want to get in the habit of making names for the charts that are very easy to read for people that aren't a part of your team or that are not um, in, in the IT field. So what you go, go ahead and rename this chart here. Uh, so let's go ahead and say all project bugs current state. Go ahead and select OK. That's going to go ahead and drop your chart here on this preview pane. Uh, let's go ahead and create a chart that will show trend over time. A good chart to do this is the stacked area chart. Uh, once again, you're going to go ahead and select this drop down here and you want to go ahead and do state as well. Um, depending on how long your project's been going, you can go in here and always change this, but um, if it's been going over for a long period of time, you may want to select it's been going on for a year. So let's go ahead and select last year. That'll give you a longer uh, trend to be able to represent to your team members and to your product owner and anybody that's interested in the project. Or you could do 12 weeks or four weeks. For this one, we're just going to keep it at seven weeks because this is a very new project. And as you can see, it shows kind of how long one bug has been sitting in this project for. And then all of a sudden we have a ramp up of more bugs and kind of what their current states are. Go ahead and select OK. Now, since I don't really like this all project bugs chart, I can go ahead and select this little ellipses here. Click the edit again. That'll bring me into the configure chart pane. And then let's go ahead and say all project bugs status over time. Once again, choose very obvious names that'll tell a story, really help the um, you be able to kind of show exactly what you're trying to represent for your chart. Go ahead and select OK. That'll change the name. Now, if you want these to drop into your dashboard, it's very simple. Select the ellipses, click the add to dashboard. It'll give you a drop down for selecting one or multiple dashboards. Go ahead and select OK once you get your dashboard. Do the same thing for the next one. Select the dashboard, click OK. Now to view them, go to overview, then to dashboard. And there are two very helpful charts, uh, kind of monitoring what's kind of going on and the health of your project uh, using bugs. Um, 
if you like what I'm doing, please go ahead and uh, give me a like and also click the subscribe button. If you have any comments or suggestions, please go ahead and use the comments down below. Uh, let me know if there's anything that you really want me to cover. I can do that in the next video. And I really appreciate your support. You guys have a good rest of the day. Bye-bye.